Hey guys, Dan Hood, Big DH2000 here. As you'll see in the previous video, I had lunch with Daryl Allen today. We made some trades. My fancy slingshot uh, sales container is a little lighter. And believe me, his truck is a whole lot lighter based on everything he gave me. I'm gonna start up here in the garage and then I'm gonna go downstairs and show you the rest in a minute. First off, we have a big barrel to turn into a catch box, um, which I'll do later. And two huge logs down in here, which I'll either split or cut up later. Um, these are, I can't remember if they're maple. Uh, they're definitely not oak because they don't have the pattern of oak. I think, I think he said they were maple. But anyway, let's go downstairs now. And the abrupt transition. So, there's Porthos looking upset at me because I haven't pet him yet. Uh, Daryl had, Daryl does really fancy um, flutes. I saw some of his work. I haven't seen a lot of it uh, because he forgot to bring some. Uh, but this is all solid wood cabinet doors from various places. Um, some oak, some maple, some cherry. Um, I think one of them might be even mahogany. There's also some wild end. Um, I think this is maple as well. I'm not exactly sure. Daryl was handing it to me so fast I couldn't tell what was going on. Mahogany. Um some kind of animal horn we weren't sure which but you can see it's got the roughness on the outside almost reminds me of like a a ram or some kind of uh you know sheep that jumps on the side of a hill um cow horn whole bunch of fancy stuff here yeah i'll put it all up so you guys can see it up close the names i won't bother to say them all spalted I believe this feels like maple with wild ends, so if I want to put it in resin, I can. Um, more. This looks like maple, little spalted maple with the wild ends, if I want to pour it in resin. This is what I'm really excited about, Bacote. Um, he gave me these. He He's picked stuff up over the years. Um, I've never worked with this before, so that'll be nice. You can see it's got incredible grain. We'll put that, let me, sorry, let me lay these all flat so that nothing happens to them. Um, this is a really nice piece of oak that he got out of a pallet, but here's the strange thing. Can you see the weird, those aren't marks or anything. Those are, those are actual strange grain, cross grain things that are in there that look really cool. Anyway. Uh, we'll talk about these two in a minute. Um, I believe this is cedar planking that he got. And as you can see, it's about ooh, six deep, six deep. And, well, we're going to put that to good use. Piece of conveyor belt. Um, I got something coming from Mike Miley. And this conveyor belt is going to work perfectly glued on that later sampler packs of corian you can see tons of colors of corian this was the main trade um, i'm going to glue these together maybe three or four at a time and then i'm going to slice them down like that and then use them as scales okay i haven't decided if i put stuff between them like g10 or whatnot but we're going to put this to good use here's some that are really nice scales and like I tell you, I like these strange colors like this red, all these dark greens, some blues, some reds, and the tans will get used too. Who knows, maybe I'll alternate tan with um, red. We'll see. Look, there's even this strange, i never seen orange, Corian. I guess some people put orange up on their kitchen counter. Shoo. okay. Now, Let's talk about this. This is a little shooter he made. Basically, he's become like us. Daryl's become like us. 
every place he looks he sees a slingshot so this was i think he said it was out of the magnolia bush right by his office I think it was a magnolia bush. I know it's the bush right outside the door. Uh, Daryl uh, is making a lot of um, making a lot of natural forks. He's putting a lot of finger grooves in them from all the ones I saw. So those are really cool. Uh, you can see he's got some thought in here. You know he's trying various things. Uh, I'm gonna fire this one up. Maybe band it up. Let my son have a go at it. And of course, y'all know this. I collect first. Uh, this was a tree out front of his office as well. This is the first one Daryl Allen ever made. Now in the hood, Dan Hood, Big DH 2000 collection. Like I said, I collect first from everybody. Now, the last thing over here. I'm probably going to lose all of these because my son and daughter have been looking for something like this forever. I didn't even know Daryl. Daryl is a man of many, many hobbies, I found out. And at one time, he used to make these as a hobby. I think he said he mainly did it because it was something he could actually do in his office while he was waiting. Handmade arrowheads, people. Out of flint. Well... Let me, let me let me take that back. This one is flint. Let me get it out without cutting my hand. Okay. You can see that's a razor sharp point. Okay. And this one. You can see this one is more of a... Um, I don't know how to say it. It tends to be a little more flat on the bottom and a little more rounded on top. I forget what fashion that's called. There's a name for it. And then this one... He said he dulled it a bit, but this one is actually made out of glass. These are so cool, Daryl. Everything's cool. I hope you got good on your, your end of the trade. almost feel like I stole everything for him, from you. But anyway, guys, Daryl's cool. Good to meet him. Uh, he'll fit right in our community. I've encouraged him to come to the Southeast Slingshot Tournament. Um, he's going to do his best to to meet a lot of us, but there you go. I'm kind of dumbfounded now that I've laid it all out to see how much it is. I'm going to be working on stuff from this pile for years to come. I might have to will it off to somebody. Anyway, Daryl, thanks a ton, bud. It was great, and thanks for lunch. Appreciated it and appreciated the conversation. And... We we have to do it again sometime. And the next time some of us Georgia guys gather up, I'll make sure to drop you a line. Take care, bud. Now to go see how many of my arrowheads are going to get stolen by the kids.